Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have a very nice challenge on the board, a very nice mathematical challenge on the board. The question reads, solve x plus y equal to 1 and xy equal to minus 3. So how do we solve this? Okay, the question appears to be simple, but it's not as simple as you may think. All right, if you're new here, do well to subscribe and turn on notification button so that you get notified for more videos. So without wasting much time, let's take a solution. So we take a solution. All right. Now, we don't have to write the question down because in one of the comments, if you are saying that why write the question down again? So we go straight to solving. Okay. We read all our comments and we respond to our comment. Okay. The correction and the criticism, we put them into use. All right. So let's take a next. Now we're going to take this as equation one. So let's take this as equation one and this as equation two. So from equation two, we want to make y the subject of the formula. So if we make y the subject of the formula, we're going to have here y is equal to minus 3 all over x. So let's give this equation 3. So let's put equation 3 into equation 1. So look at our equation 1 here. Wherever we see y, let's put in this quantity there. So from our equation 1, we have x plus bracket your minus 3 all over x equal to your 1. So if we open up, we're going to have here x minus 3 all over x equal to 1. We eliminate this denominator here. So if we multiply through by x, we're going to have here x to the power of 2, then minus 3 equal to rx. Okay? So if we rearrange, we're going to have here x to the power of 2 minus x minus 3. This is equal to 0. Of course, this is a quadratic equation. So what we do, we solve this quadratically. Where our a is 1, then uh, b is minus 1, and c is minus 3. Okay, so using the quadratic formula, this is going to give us x is equals to minus b plus minus the square root of our b square, then minus 4ac, everything all over 2a. Okay, so let's bring the value of a, b, c, r first. So where we have our a is equals to positive 1, b is equals to minus 1, and c is equals to minus 3. So let's go ahead and substitute these values into our equation and see what this gives us in turn. So this now implies that our x is equal to, look at our b, so we have minus bracket minus 1, Plus bracket plus minus into the square root of minus 1 all to the power of 2 minus 4 dot 1 dot uh, c is minus uh, 3 okay everything all about 2 dot 1 so from here let's put in the value of um, uh, sorry so let's simplify this down we're going to have your 1 plus minus to the square root of your 1 there minus times minus gives us plus then 4 times 1 times my uh, times 3 we give us our 12 here everything all of our 2. okay so if we add up we're going to have your 1 plus minus the square root of 13 all of our 2. maybe we'll have our x done here okay so we've gotten our x to the days but here we have plus minus so from here, we're going to get our x1 and x2 from here now. So this now implies that our x1 is equal to 1 plus root 13 all over 2. And our x2, we have this to be 1 minus root 13 all over 2. Okay, so now that we have our x1, x2 from here. So what we do, we have to look for our um, y1 and y2 from this expression here now. So if you look at equation 3, look at equation 3 here, we made y the subject of the formula already, which is minus 3 all over x. So whenever we see x, we put in this value and simplify. From here, let's substitute x1 first into our equation 3. 
So this will now give us our y1 will now be equal to, here we have minus 3 all over, what is our x1? Look at our x1, we have 1 plus into the square root of 13 all over 2. Okay, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. So rearranging this, this will give us here how y1 is equal to minus 3, okay, divided by your 1 plus root 13 all over 2. All right, mind you, this is all over 1, so we can change this to multiplication. And so this will now give us minus 3 times 2 all over 1 plus root 13. Easy. So this will now give us here minus 6 all over 1 plus root 13. Now, from solve, we can rationalize the denominator, right? So if we rationalize the denominator, this will now give us, it means we multiply by the conjugate of this. And the conjugate of 1 plus root 13 will give us 1 minus root 13. So this will now give us minus 6 into 1 minus root 13, close bracket, all over 1 plus root 13, close bracket, bracket, yeah, 1 minus root 13. Any confusion? No. So from here, we can use this to open up this. But let us just keep this like this without opening up this. So let's open the denominator. So the numerator remains your 1 minus root 13. Close bracket. Everything here all over. If we use this to multiply this, it's going to come up with 1 minus root 13. Then we use this to multiply this. This will give us plus root 13. Then minus root 169. Okay. So from here, this is minus and plus. So it leaves the system. And the square root of 169 is 13. So from here, we now have this to be your minus 6 into 1 minus root 13. Close bracket. All over. Here we have... 1 minus 13. And 1 minus 13 will give us minus 12. So automatically we have this to be minus 6 into 1 minus root 13. Okay? All over minus 12. So this, this leaves the system. 6 here 1, 6 here 2. So we end up having, therefore, our, um, we're looking for y1. So we have y1 is equal to 1 all over 2 into 1 minus root 13. Okay, so this is our y1. All right, so this is our y1. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for our y2 using the same procedure. So to our x2 into this expression, we give us here y equal to minus 3 all over our S2 is 1 minus root 3, sorry, root 13, all over 2. Again, if we flip this over, we're going to come up with minus uh, 3 times 2, all over your 1, then um, minus root 13. So this will give us minus 6, right? Again, this is solved. So what we do, we rationalize the denominator and the conjugate of 1 minus root 13 will give us plus, sorry, 1 plus root 13. So this will now give us here, this is equal to minus 6 all over your 1 minus root 13 plus bracket into 1 plus root 13. Okay, we equally multiply the numerator by the conjugate too. So 1 plus root 13. Good. So here yeah, we're now left with minus 6 into 1 plus root 13, close bracket, all over. Here yeah, we are going to come up with minus 12. So if we do the same multiplication we did here. So this will give us here minus 12. Okay, so this, this leaves with this. So here yeah, we have 6 here 1, 6 here we have here to be what? 2. Okay, so therefore, let's bring our y2, this y2 please. Okay, so we have our y2 
is equal to your 1 all over 2 into your 1 plus root 13. All right. So this is the value of our y2. All right. So now if you check carefully, we'll be able to solve for um, our x1, our x2, then our y1, and our y2. All right. So this might be the end to this um, simple lipid challenge. If you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. Or you have any comment with regards to this challenge, drop it in the comment section. We are there to respond to your comment, okay? Remember, we love you. And everyone at All I Must TV loves you so much. Bye for now.